Hey, what's up guys? Today, uh, we don't really have too many trucks going out finished, so I thought we'd do a, a little shop walk here because we got a ton of them in the shop. We got a ton out back in the weeds and I uh, thought I'd just kind of give you an idea of some of the new stuff that's coming down the pipeline that we're going to be knocking out here real quick. Um, so we're going to start. We got this, uh, it's a 99, 379 used to be a car hauler took the rack off of it and uh, we completely repainted this truck front to back uh, filled and painted the chassis on it it's getting full fenders light bar deck plate all that stuff's in fab and paint at the moment but uh, this one's gonna be headed home real soon for a uh, life of semi-retirement um, behind it here we got our new 100th anniversary uh, pride transport w900 that we finished uh, a month or six weeks ago and uh, it's back in here we're doing a spring swap on the front end gonna kind of get it dialed back in a little bit um, next to that we got a 389X. Um, this was just in a video I did uh, a week or so ago. We're getting started on it. Uh, we've done air cleaner lights, front and rear, chopped the breather screens, got our mirror lights on it, uh, visors off, waiting for a visor, drilled for seven cab lights going on. Uh, we did a new bumper. This one's pretty mild for right now. We're going to do air ride down the road. Um, it's all stripped out in the back. It's getting shift. Uh, single hump. Fiberglass fenders. We're going to do a custom uh, T bumper on the back. And then uh, this one's going to be out the door. Uh, we'll do a full deck plate on it too. Change the sleeper lights to melons. Um, pretty basic, nothing too uh, too wild on this one right now. Uh, this is a truck we finished about two years ago for Arizona Dairy Commodities, one of our local customers. It's in here for a little a little touch up, a couple small repairs. Um, we're gonna polish it out. We actually got it in here for. Uh, for some uh, future projects that are going to be coming down the road that I can't quite disclose at the moment. I know it's pretty dark, but um, we're out here before we start the day. It's about quarter to five in the morning, so pretty dark. Uh, this one and the next truck are both crane harvesting and trucking, another one of our local customers. Um, we're doing like eight trucks for these guys, some new ones, a couple older ones. Um, pretty cool little builds, some company rides, cab lights, visor, bumper, dumps on the front air ride, breather lights, standard stuff, cabin sleeper panels, uh, move the burners, put stacks on them, half fenders, light bar. Uh, sleeper shock covers um, some fairly fairly standard stuff deck plate uh, you can see we got merit deck plate in here fabbed up a custom stainless box for all the hookups got a box in the frame um, shock box cover I don't know how well it's gonna be to see some of this stuff lights not the greatest uh, this one we did uh, more of an old school look. We got heat shields on it with six inch straights. Um, you can see there, it's coming together. Uh, cycle over here to the other side of the shop. Uh, we got another X. This is also the one that was in the X video from a week or so ago. And we just started stripping this one down. This one's going to be a pretty massive build. 
everything inside, outside, about you name it, we're probably doing it. Body drop, air ride, full interior package, paint and upholstery, um, paint the tanks, deck plates, fenders, light bar. Yeah, we're gonna get pretty carried away with this one. Uh, so that was number 308. Here's the sister truck, 307. This one's almost done. We just got a few things to touch up on it, and it's going to be headed out. This one's uh, going to be more of a worker truck. Probably uh, this one I have a driver in it. It's getting uh, deck plate, light bars. Dig 10 melons in the back of the sleeper. We're doing uh, putting a rear window in the sleeper too. Painted the tanks. Painted box covers. Stacks. You know, all the standard stuff, bumper, visor, cab lights, air cleaner lights. Uh, still a still a full build, really, just not super, super, super wild. And then uh, over in the body shop right now, here's the fenders for the peach truck getting painted. Uh, we got a car hauler, it's a 2019 3088. Um, we built this truck about five years ago and uh, It's been wrecked a few times we touched it up and fixed it up and it uh, It got hit pretty good recently. So we're in here now Trying to trying to put it back together. We got to do a ton of paint work and new cabin sleeper panels New air cleaner, new hood, new fenders, new bumper. I mean, you name it. Here, the front end got pretty wasted. But, uh, not a problem. We do about 10 of these a year, so we knock them out pretty quick here. See, we got our shift fenders over there waiting to get sprayed. Um, in case a bunch of you guys are wondering, yeah, this, this isn't the isn't the greatest shop in the world here. We're kind of exposed, we're pretty outside, but we are like three weeks away from going into our new building uh, out behind here. We're gonna have 25,000 square feet, 5,000 square foot body shop, 10,000 square foot shop, five, uh, yeah, what are we, 5,000 square foot fab shop. Eventually we're gonna have a chrome shop in there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be fully back in business. So that will be nice. We'll be out of the cold here. We are in Arizona, but it's still like 30 degrees. So walk over here, we'll get you a couple more of our bigger projects. We got this K100 here, getting a, that's the full build, getting a low leaf rear suspension on it. It's like 280 wheelbase. Uh, that one's for down the road. It's a, I believe it's a 57, 58 bull nose Kenworth. Getting a full paint. It's already stretched, it's on a late model chassis. Got a little hay truck out there in the background. That one's waiting for interior. We got a couple bare chassis for full builds. We got a lot of projects. Not to mention we got about 15 of them out in the weeds right now waiting to get built. So, well, that's uh, this week's shop tour. So we're gonna get back to work. We're gonna try to get some trucks built and uh, the rest of you guys out there, let's uh, keep on trucking.